Dexter is an open source, seven axis, 3D printed, high precision, low cost robot platform. Dexter, I mean, the name comes from, you know, human dexterity. We think it was anything a human can do, dexterity wise, is what we want to capture uh, with the robot. If you can hold a tool, we can capture that human dexterity and repeat that. We call it a reconfigurable robot because we can use 3D printing to actually build, very quickly build new end effectors. Well, I'm Kent Gilson, and uh, I'm the founder and inventor and uh, uh, robot designer. I'm Todd Enerson, I'm president uh, and one of the co-founders here at Eddington as well. When we first started, we actually used a, a three millimeter MDF and a laser, uh, but uh, then we moved into a PLA and, uh, and ABS with uh, with early you know, cheap 3D printers. We had seven. Um, yeah, we had seven PLA printers. PLA. And the maintenance to keep them going were probably at 30, 35% success rate. Yeah. We got our first Mark Forge Mark II, the continuous carbon fiber one, in October. It literally took about two weeks to actually completely redesign the robot the bed with the Mark Forge printers. We bought a Mark Forge only for the continuous carbon fiber, um, for the strength and the stiffness. Um, but we were surprised by how, um, first of all, how tolerant they are, but also the surface finish is, is shiny. It, it's really actually pretty. Um, and, and we can sell a, pro a final product that is just Mark Forge finished parts. It allows us to print things that really shouldn't be printed, but because it's strong enough, we can do. Um, so on our robots, we have three harmonic drives, um, and these uh, give us 52 to one gear ratio, and we really need that for torque and precision. Um, but these are really hard to get, and they're really expensive. Um, and so we came up with a solution uh, using Mark Forge. We um, were printing what's called a um, cycloidal drive. We can print really, really strong gears and get the same gear ratio out of that. I think the time and money we save by switching to and having the, the, the family of Mark Forge printers is the, the reliability on, I mean, we're getting more production off of one than we got off of seven. I don't know how we'd be able to do this without the Mark Forge and the, and mm -hmm. the printer. We, we uh, run the numbers and there's at no time is there a reason for us to actually go injection mold it. I mean, not just for the material properties, but just the economics of actually having a printer. In fact, we can buy a new printer after we sell a single robot, so we can amortize our capital equipment's cost mm -hmm. over a single robot. That's uh, that that fundamentally changes the uh, financing of a company. We'll, we'll never, um, you know, kind of go into an injection molding uh, for the uh, for the reconfigured robots. One of the most exciting things about having 3D printing and uh, Mark Forge printers uh, 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 working in a robot automation, you know, uh, role is the ability to very rapidly create fixed stream, and that includes uh, custom grippers. We can, we can actually create a new gripper in just you know, 20, 30 minutes in CAD and then have it print out on the Mark Forge. We can actually you know, take a scan of like, a particular object, use that geometry to actually build a gripper that's designed just for that object, and then have a custom gripper in, in a day. And then we're not stuck with that design either. I mean, that's what we yeah. can continue to, to iterate. It's fundamentally changed you know, the, the nature of our business and the ability to, for us to do our, to, to exercise our business plan.